Okay, so I'm going to do a short little message with The Oracle of the Mermaids by Lucy Cavendish. Probably just do one or two messages. I could just read from whatever card. I want to tap into this deck. I haven't really used it since I got it. So welcome to my channel, Ariel the Artsy Intuitive, and let's get into it. Let's see what message wants to come out tonight. Hopefully it's recording my voice with my new microphone. What messages from the Oracle of the Mermaids? This one wants to come out. Sisterhood. I love it. Friendship, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. Okay. Let's see. My bad. <laughs> upside down. There we go. Let's see. Okay. Sisterhood. I didn't even look at the number. 41, which is a 5. Okay. Let's go ahead and read number 5. Okay. So, Song of... No, that's not number 5. It's number... <laughs> 41. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I'm so used to adding the numbers to get the... <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's read this message. Message of friendship, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. The mermaids sing. We mermaids are so often like sisters. We are raised with each other. We bond closely to each other and create friendships that comfort, guide, stretch, and inspire us. We have an enormous family, and we rarely lone. We are rarely lonely because of the tendency to live in clan-like groups. Because we see no division between us and the sea creatures, we often form very close bonds with dolphins, dugongs, turtles, and even the quiet nautilus. When we come to you in the form of this card, we wish you to know that soon you will find your clan. There will be new friendships for you that feel like family, and some of the friendships you have formed in the past may become less strong and fall away gently and peacefully. You are changing yourself and becoming more true to who you are at this time and we applaud this one of the side effects of this authenticity and truthfulness and embracing of your your own self is that those who feel they know you may begin to question whether you are being yourself in time know that the new friendships who are stitching together have close bonds and their weaving is deep and strong and there will be flexibility and understanding between you there will be a sense of coming home with these new friends and this sisterhood will mean there is a sense of community. Your isolation may ease profoundly. So please do not look out for opportunities to make new friends. Be open and welcoming and give people some space and time. Okay. So you are not alone and you are very worthy, worth loving. Uh, a divination, divination it says, uh, a newfound sense of belonging and community with people who are kin to you on a soul level. This is not to draw you together with people who, who have necessarily already experienced many lifetimes, but to draw you into close and caring relationship that is with people who are at a similar level to you energetically and on an evolutionary level. This means your development will soon accelerate and be stimulated by others. Rather than feeling you are guiding and repairing, you will this time be stretched and guided yourself. These relationships will be healthy, healing, enjoyable, and free, yet loyal and very committed. It is not past life material that will come forth. It is simply that you are now ready to meet your soul kin, and the mermaids will ensure you meet, and in a variety of interesting, sometimes unusual ways. Enjoy. Okay, so... That is just a brief message of sisterhood here, friendship, soul, soul tribe, that kind of thing. And I'm going to sign up for now. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.